how to get like better entries in the market. So I'm looking at like the US DT setup that I shared like with my group. And then as you can see here, uh, the only thing that you need is a plan around like your entries. You don't need, you don't need like uh, too many entries. So on this one, it's a break and retest entry, uh, but I filtered it on the M15. As you can see here, at some type of an inverse head and shoulders. I'll show you like the before and then you'll we'll get like uh, a scenario of what I'm talking about. This is the left shoulder, this is the head, and then this is the right shoulder retest as an entry. So you create a plan uh, around uh, your entries. So let's say this is your first entry. So, the, so you know that uh, in the markets, what you're looking for is a descending channel let's say you're looking for a descending channel and then you know that within a descending channel you'll have uh, some type of an impulse down and then a corrective move to the upside and then an impulse down and then a corrective move to the upside and then let's say uh, on that corrective move to the upside you get like a break and then after that break you look for a retest around that uh left shoulder and then on the right shoulder that's where you look for yourselves so that's your first entry uh for a sell and then in reverse when you're looking for buys uh let's say this is your trend around here like this and then uh the market is moving in this type of fashion and then at this area here, the market will just to go to the downside in a form of a descending channel. And then on the break, that's where you look for that break. And then knowing that this is an inverse head and shoulders. And then on the right shoulder, you wait for a retest and then you look for a buy. So let me just show you uh, a scenario that we had. So this is the USDT trade that we took around this area here, the break and the retest. And then that that's how you look for your entries and then the second entry that you might have is a tight flag let's say the market is impulsing to the upside and then you wait for six to eight hours like this after an impulse you wait for six to eight hours and then you place like your entry at the top of that uh tight flag and then your stop loss is just below and then what you're waiting for is the market to take you into the trade uh in a buy and then same in reverse if you're looking for sales wait for an impulse down and then the tight flag six to eight hours and then what you do is that you place an entry below structure stop loss just above and then you wait for the market to take you into the trade so let's look at uh gbp usd and then let me switch to the one hour chart just show you the entry that i'm talking about so on the daily on the daily you know that the overall trend is to the downside as you can see here this is the overall trend around here and then now we are at the low we are at the lows and then you buy low and then you sell high so you're at the lows which means you're looking for buys up until this area here so let me just remove those then let's get to the entry type so on the entry type you'll see that this is an impulse correction around here and then i waited for the break and then this is a retest in a form of a tight flag around this area here same scenario as i said you look for the buy on the break and then your stop loss is just below here you just wait for the market to tag you in. Let's say you have your first trade profit around this area here, and then you're in a good trade. So let's look at NASDAQ and then NASDAQ, same scenario, like the USDT, same, same scenario, like the USDT. This is the descending channel that we were looking at. And then on the M15, that's where you filter the entry as you can see here this is where you got like the most touches and then this is a retest but in a form of a tight flag if you try and uh refine it on lower time frames so you get like this type of entry and then you look for a buy around this area here so guys if you want to uh 
no filter out like your entries you must focus like on a few entries you just wait for the market to give you that type of entry and then you enter so this one here has like those uh, two scenarios in one uh, you have like the inverse head and shoulders around here and then you also have like the tie flag and we are already about to hit like tp2 around here so you have like two scenarios you have like the left and you have the head and then you have the right shoulder retest and then you have the tie flag so you can choose like uh on these like scenarios which one you would like best you would like uh this uh entry for uh an inverse head and shoulders uh, let me just draw out that scenario nicely so let's say the market is moving in this type of fashion and then around here that's where the market stopped and then you have your descending channel like this and then after having your descending channel and then this is where you'd have uh, your zone around here and then for you to enter the markets what you wait for is very simple you just wait for the market to break this area come back and retest and then that's where you look for your buy you look for your buy after the retest in a form of a candlestick confirmation and then a candlestick confirmation that you can use as an evening star or a an engulfing candlestick pattern and then you look for your stop loss just below here and then your first take profit is around maybe a sensitive area here and then your second take profit maybe at the 90 percent rule so this is the first scenario and then in a form of a sell and then in a form of a sell the market will be moving in the sub of fashion and ascending channel like this and then the market will be playing around this area here and guys you have to be like disciplined when you're entering like these trades you just have to wait for all those scenarios to stack up in your favor and then that's when you can take an entry don't take any entries uh out of form or uh, thinking that you'll miss a trade if you miss a trade you can just wait for another one so let's say the market is moving in this fashion and then you look for your zone around this area here knowing that the market after the market breaks like this area here it will come back and retest and then that's where you look for your cells after the retest around here even if you don't get a retest just wait the market may come back into that area and retest and then you look for your cell and then your first take profit at a sensitive area here just because it became a resistant and then turned into a support so this can be your first take profit and then second take profit at the 90 percent rule and then those are two scenarios and then let's say you have like a double top entry type as your trading plan so in a descending channel like this and then this is a different entry on its own so the market will be moving in the type of fashion around here like this so when the market reaches this area here you have a double bottom so what you do when you get a double bottom is that you wait for a candlestick confirmation around this area here before you can enter an evening star or an engulfing candlestick to the upside and then for you to confirm you can just look for a you can just place a buy stop instead of a market execution you place a buy stop around here your stop loss is just below here and then you're aiming for the market to break this area here maybe look for more upside and then if you miss this entry or if you're not sure about this entry you can just wait for the other one that we talked about the break and then the market will come back and retest the same area here after coming back then you look for the buy again so there are many 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 entries that you can wait for just wait up until you get the entry of your uh, trading plan so this is the buy scenario and then let's look at the sell scenario so on the sell scenario the market is moving in an ascending fashion like this and then it will be moving in this area like this then after that 
the market will tend to come back to the same area around here go to the downside and then just come back and retest and then on that retest that's where you look for cells let me just put this nicely that's where you look for your cells at the top of the structure and then if you miss this entry or if you are not sure about the entry just because it's not confirmed yet it hasn't broken structure you just wait for a more confirmed entry a break come back to retest and then you look for yourselves around there so guys uh that is it for today's video and then if you didn't understand you can just drop a comment and then i'll try and explain and then if you want a part two of this video uh click the like button and comment part two in the comment section peace